The government anticipates that the friendship between Ghana and India will continue to grow from strength to strength in the years ahead. Prime Minister Moses Nagamutu stated this during the celebration of India's 70th Republic Day at the Marriott Hotel last evening. Rebecca Ganesh has our first report. In his feature address... Prime Minister Nagamutu noted that this significant observation provides an ideal opportunity to reflect upon the long-standing relations between the two countries. Guyana and India share close historical and ancestral bonds which continue to deepen our cultural exchanges at the people-to-people -people level. The Prime Minister said Guyana continues to benefit from its ties to India. The bonds of friendship between Guyana and India were further strengthened with the visit to Guyana of the Honorable Dr. Satya Paul Singh, Minister of State for Human Resource Development, Water Resources, and Ganga Rejuvenation and Development. During that visit, the Minister of Natural Resources, Honorable Raphael Trotman, and myself held fruitful discussions with Minister Singh on the future of Guyana-India cooperation in areas such as petroleum and technology. India's High Commissioner to Guyana, His Excellency V. Mahalingam, explained that India and Guyana have much in common as the two nations share the same colonial past. Since the establishment of full diplomatic relations between India and Guyana in 1968, 50 years have passed by. Not only bilateral relations between India and Guyana have been warm and friendly, but also we have consistently held common positions and supported each other in the multilateral arena. India would like to join, in its, join Guyana in its efforts to promote and encourage environmentally sustainable development and its quest for green economy. Many people throughout India celebrate the nation's Republic Day, which is a gazetted holiday on January 26th each year. It is a day to remember when India's constitution came into force on January 26, 1950, completing the country's transition towards becoming an independent republic. For InfoHub, Rebecca Ganesh.